Hey guys, we're back with some more penguin games. This is gonna be three games I think uh, that I'll be doing replay uh, analysis on and showcasing you how to generally play with it with each different hands. And I think I'll have a few videos of these because I have a lot of replay. Some decent ones, some you know normal ones, and some of uh, some regular ones which will allow you to get a hang of the combo. We got Ash his ma maxi. We get pot of pee. Pot of pee is super important to find uh, any of your starter to get into Hulk or anything. You only need one of them. We see DC Diva, which is decent. Royal Penguin Garden is also great. Uh, Artifact, Fusion Destiny is also good. Uh, we choose, we opt for the Royal Penguin Garden. We could have also started with uh, DC Diva. It's roughly the same, but uh, this will show you the Emperor line. I mean, we didn't have to discard a card if we didn't if we went for the DC Diva line. But we go into the No Penguin plus Glacial Penguin. If they if we went uh, second, we would have been able to uh, return the card back to their hands. We go into Christian Hulk into Aurora Donk. Aurora Donk goes into as well summons three tokens, and this is where you get like our Omni Negate, Penguin Brave and stuff like that. But before that we need to go into Cooper Pitch which is an OP card that you released quite recently. I'm releasing this video late uh, when the Wandering Travelers came out but uh, this card was OP. <laughs> it's just because I was like working out how to play this deck. I was taking a little bit of a break. Um, usually I don't know what to play the uh, Boralode. If you've been watching my streams or catching up on my streams I've been experimenting with playing this attack position or defense position. I feel like 2500 defense is just too low and sometimes it will just get played over. But we go into Brawler Load in defense and then we get a creation resonator which will get our Penguin Brave. This one I do recommend playing in attack because in defense it just dies to anything. And then we are we can get the low penguin on back on board and also the penguin soldier which is pretty decent. We can also go into extension plays as well if we need to, if we had a uh, uh, Penguin Squire. He goes into Lightning Storm which we will negate with our Savage. It doesn't really do anything, it only pops uh, Penguin Brave and also Roll Along. But I kind of need Brave for the interruption and he <laughs> scoops from there. This shows you, it's just like any other combo deck, you just get a decent board and hope they can't beat it. So for, ne for the next uh, replay we have a pretty decent start but we didn't start off with Royal Penguin Garden so we can't go into the Great Penguin line. But we have Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea Diva will search for Deep Sea Diva and then you can go into your play from there. Into Christian Hulk from there. We can also do this with a Sangan or another monster to set down. because I could have set down another monster and used Penguin Squire's effect to flip them up. Unfortunately this time he has Effect Veiler. And this is where Desert Locust comes in handy. Desert Locust is in our extra deck. Desert Locust will save us from big trouble. We just pop it straight away so he just gets rid of any card. Which might be a mistake in the sense that he is playing uh, Sky Strikers. But if I get rid of Engage here it's really really good. I, I Ash Blossom the Engage. It's a must. Otherwise, he will get giga amounts of card advantage, and he ends his turn. This card will allow him to set all of his cards back, and then we can go into normal-ish combos. We can go into Deep Sea Diva, or we can just tribute summon into Great Emperor Penguin, which is a weird play. But I go for the big play where we uh, go into Great Emperor Penguin, Puny Penguin, and then use this Pink Ninja to flip it down. After it's flipped down, its effect is now active, and then I, and then I summon the Penguin Squire to flip it up again to activate the effect, and then I go into Verde, which will allow me to go into <laughs> into the Emperor Penguin, summon it back from with using the Puny, and then I can go to Dagna. Now I can use the Verde effect, and I can basically um, DP uh, Scythe lock them for the next turn, so they can't go into any of his uh, Sky Strikers that he would want to go into next turn which is um, it's a matchup dependent thing sometimes you wouldn't want to go for this sometimes you want to go for the Omni Negates but I know because he's playing Sky Strikers is very extra deck heavy um, 
focus the deck, so yeah, I want to knock him, lock him out of it, and be able to pop any other card as well. I think I made a mistake here, uh, not popping the correct card. Uh, I mean, popping at the right timing. I should have popped at the start. I also, before that, uh, before his turn, I also popped his engage, which got banished. He goes into a lightning storm here, and this is instantly. I'm gonna go and pop the scythe because it'll be bad if I don't pop it. <laughs> so I pop the scythe, I get the deep, save the DPE, and he scoops from there because being scythe locked is annoying. For the last replay, um, I can't remember this one actually. We'll wait until I get into the hand. But I think it was a generally a pretty decent one. Yeah, so we got into like the full combo here, which is Royal Penguin Gardens with a Penguin Sky in hand, or the opposite, uh, Royal Penguin Garden plus Emperor Penguin. It's basically the same. I right, Ash is terraforming in case he's Numerons or something. Could have been a bait, but he just sets one card face down. What we do here, I'm gonna go for the biggest combo here. We could also just go for Deep Sea Diva. He ashes, which is really unfortunate. So, oh, but we cross out Designator because I really wanted to show off. I think at that time I really wanted to show off the the full combo. So I just Noble Crossman it. I mean, cross out Designator it. Which could have been a little bit too much, but I get the Royal, uh, the Emperor Penguin. I most likely will discard the Deep Sea Diva to lower his attack, I mean lower his level, to allow me to normal summon it, tribute it to get Puny plus Ninja. N Ninja will just, <laughs> he's like, oh no, 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 it's over. <laughs> but anyway guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. I've bought a lot more replays to show you guys as well. Peace out guys.